using precisely the same fundamental interpretive categories as authors and poets used to create them. So there's no need to posit any kind of unstable ontology or ruptured consciousness. Are you following me? Yeah. Do you any coffee? Something from the dessert menu? No, it's uh, too late yeah, for I'll... coffee. It's, um, I tell you what, uh, one piece of chocolate cake and two forks, two plates. So no one Thank you. has ever looked at this process of cultural criticism during this 45 process. minutes. Excuse me? 45 minutes. That's how long it's been since I've uttered a single word. I mean, do you even know where I'm from? Where I grew up? Where I live? You know, anything about my family? What kind of day did I have? Well, if you actually did want to know, um, I was having a great day until about um, 30 minutes ago when I realized you were going to shut up. In fact, <laughs> you actually gave me a C in your course. You said my paper was sophomoric. I was a freshman. That's not what sophomoric means. Yeah, no, see, I know that. I mean, the other night when I drove you home, I actually, I thought I saw a different side of you. Now I'm back to thinking you're the, you're the same pompous windbag who made me switch my major from English to biology. Well, certainly an established physician is not harboring a resentment for a grade she received more than 10 years ago. This was a mistake. Your daughter was right. Thank you. It's probably better if you get a cab home. I take it by your presence here at 8.45, you did not get laid. Yeah, come in, unless it's Chuck. I'm back. Thank God. This is a good-sized room. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you've been in here before. You think I'm self-absorbed? I think self-absorption's underrated. I think everyone needs some compassion, some capacity for sympathy, empathy. Right. Dad, Teresa Sternbridge practically runs the soup kitchen. And she's always seen posing in photos with crack babies and dying old crusty ladies. And do you know why? She scored in the 45th percentile in her SAT. People like you and me don't need to compensate. You know, I'm glad you're home early. The physician wasn't good for you. Too young and kind of uncultured, like, oh, so many in the medical profession. Oh, I thought of the perfect new title for your book. Right? Good night. Bonsoir. <laughs> <laughs>